Once again, going to war. Uh, yeah, I didn't really fully explain this earlier, but these are what do you do? In this game, you can um, put in seeds and it gives you a different map. So here's this. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Wow, that's actually quite a, quite an interesting map here. <laughs> it's because I'm awesome. Um, anyway, uh, so. Yeah, what, I'm, what the gimmick that I'm doing is all the years between uh, 1914 and 1945, which is uh, the World Wars, uh, or the World War if you want to look at it as just one war with a long ceasefire in the middle. Um, I'm actually thinking of just doing the World War One years since it's a fair amount. Um, I mean, it's you know, five years, and then I, if I fail at some of them, that'll be multiple videos, so, you know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, this is 1916, which is I've, there's quite a few interesting maps in here. I've actually looked through. I looked ahead a bit. Um, this one being one of them, because uh, look at this. Look at just the pretty much everyone starts out with not a great position. Like they've got one city. Uh, red has red has a actually Redoja has a very good thing going on here. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and start. Uh, I'm, <laughs> so what I'm I'm kind of worried. I'm thinking about doing hard, uh, but this just concerns me so much because I'm going to be doing it as Greenland again because again Greenland is in the worst position. They have no city next to them. I'm just going to do it on normal because I'm I'm very scared. <laughs> um, because yeah, uh, I mean look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, Greenland has no city next to it. All the other cities have one within uh, two tiles. Uh, Greenland has one within two tiles, or not Greenland, Redoja has one within two tiles, and then another one, um, which is also pretty close to, oh my gosh, no, please. Dnipropetrovsk, uh, they have that. Uh, and then they also have these two production cities right here, uh, or two port cities here giving them production. Um, yeah, Greenland does not. So uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to get a lot of production in Sydney because, you know, I'm going to have all this land. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take this city. We'll see. Um, yeah. Because I don't want to split my production up like that. So we'll, we'll, we'll just have to see here. Oh, Yamusukro. There was there was a city earlier. Oh, God. Okay, so they're gonna be obnoxious, as they always are. Your northern neighbors are almost always obnoxious. I wonder if I can get them to sign a pact. I think if I can if I can get them to sign a pact, um, and they actually respect the pact and they don't just instantly march into my lands, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, I'm thinking I can pretty much contain them. Um, it is a fucking godsend that there are no port cities uh, up here. Uh, because, man, if they had access to this sea, they could just... Oof, they could really hurt me. Um, and the AI is actually fairly... You know, they're, they're alright at, uh, at figuring out port cities and and, you know, pathing through sea, so... They would, they will absolutely do that. Alright, Ufa is mine. Do not go there. I'm gonna run over here to the, uh... The Straits of Kampala. Sorry, Raiga, I know you're also right there, but, uh, it's the Straits of Kampala. For sure. Uh, I'm gonna just run down here and grab this extra land. I'm gonna do the same with this guy. Just really... Oh. Kind of... I somehow forgot that... Red Dojo was, uh, oh no, oh no, wow, uh, things have kind of backfired it looks like, uh, my, my brilliant plan to contain Bulgaria, uh, because I, I guess I, I underestimated Red Doja, and I did not realize that they were a big threat, and they were right there, and they were ready to take Ufa, and now they've taken Ufa. And now Bulgaria has taken Ufa because they, they're allowed to do that. 
They're allowed to fight Radoja, just not... Oh god! This is so bad. Okay, now I can break the pact, um, I'm, but I will suffer a morale hit. Uh, and I'm just not ready for that kind of business yet. So, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, build up here, grab this production over here, um, maybe swing around with this, <laughs> this tiny little unit, I don't know. Um, actually, you know what? I absolutely could. So I'm gonna, there we go. Straits of Kampala taken. Uh, <laughs> fully taken. I had Raiga. Now I have uh, Kampala as well. Uh, moving some units up into this front. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, see, look at this. Production. Production like crazy. 39. Uh, morale not that great because I haven't taken uh, many cities. But, you know, doing alright. What should we call this? The Sea of the Middle? The Center Sea? No, probably not good to call it that. Um, worth noting, these cities haven't been taken. Don't know what Radoja is waiting for. Although, <laughs> worth noting, this hasn't been taken either. It's uh, of great strategic importance that I don't do that. Uh, okay, here we go. God. So the plan was to come in here uh, into whatever area I could come into and then hit up Mexico City. That was the plan. Um, I don't know how well that's going to go. However, yeah. A bit frightening. Fortunately, by, by the way, I think I absolutely could have played this on hard. Uh, it's not... It's not... It's, I mean, even though... I, I, I would say... I, would, I was going to say, it's not like the map I did last time. It's not like 1915, but... 1915 wasn't that bad either. Uh, I was just sort of bad at it. Hmm. They're going to take Piskov in a moment. And there's nothing real I can really do to stop them, because I couldn't get to Piskov on time, so they're just going to take that. And I am going to move this unit here. And, uh, actually, hmm, it'd be nice if I could take, if I could simultaneously take Ufa and Addis Ababa. So I think what I'll do is I'll move an army here. So when the peace finally ends, you know. Oh wow, okay, nice. Mexico City held. Uh, that's because Violet Nam, not so great with the whole morale thing. Wow, they didn't take Piskov. I guess they don't need to. Uh, I'll take Piskov then, buddy. If you're not, if you don't, you guys, do you think you don't want to do that? Okay, I'll take it then. Um, this is quite a long piece that we've had. Uh, <laughs> wow, this is crazy. All right. What? No, we just like we just like uh, the the beautiful countryside of uh, around Bonn. It's truly lovely uh, this time of year, all times of year. Um, so actually, we're gonna sit here all year. Uh, that is until sense. what? Sorry, there was explosions and I couldn't. Uh, someone, I I thought someone said pizend pizend. Oh my god. Look. The race for Vilnius is on. Good lord. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to need to swing down here with this unit because it's the best unit I have. And then... Uh, here we go. <laughs> wow, we are really carving it up here, huh? Look at us. Okay. Uh, you go here. You go here. Great. We have four tanks ready to... Uh, that's good. Ideally, we would have five units here um, so that we can, you know, fully maximize the five turns that we have. Peace with Bulgaria broken! Yeah. Not not totally surprised by that. Uh, Piskov is still there. Um, Alright, well... Uh, okay, so I don't have five units here, but four is pretty good. So... I'm going to 
block their way with this unit from Mexico City. The Mexican Army. Uh, the Mexican Armored Brigade. They've done a very obnoxious thing here. They just have unit spam all around Addis Ababa, so I can't actually take it like I wanted to. Uh, but that's... You know, it'll be on next turn, and we've pretty much completely destroyed their forces down here. Uh, what is happening to my... Oh, all of my holdings around the Straits of Kampala. <sighs> we still have Raiga. Wow. Raiga is just quietly being like, Hey, uh, Mayor of Raiga here. Ring, ring. It's the Mayor of Raiga on the, on the phone. Uh, you remember when you were all like, uh, Hey, buddy. Uh, you're... Hold on. <laughs> gonna put a pause on that joke while I uh, actually figure out how to do this. Alright, you two can go to war. I'm just gonna come down here here and uh, I'm just fighting the violent enemies, Radoja. You don't need to worry about me at all. Fight, fight, fight. God damn it. They've, they've realized the, the problem. Okay, yeah, so uh, as I was saying... Uh, Mayor Radoja here. Uh, I'm just uh, calling because uh, earlier you you said we di we didn't really matter in that uh, camp this was the Straits of Kampal and, and you were going to name it after them because we don't really matter. Uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to change the name now because you don't actually own Kampal and and if you call it the Straits of Kampal then you have to kind of admit that you don't actually have control of the Straits of Kampal. Um, and I'm 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 just furiously uh, uh, motioning for my secretary to, uh, I, I don't know. I'm just like, you know, I've got the phone pressed against my shoulder. Uh, General, um, Sydney, uh, named after the city for some reason, got the phone pressed against my shoulder, you know, so that, the, so that, uh, Mayor, Mayor Jalamabad doesn't, doesn't hear what I'm saying. Um, and I'm like... Why, why don't you scream my calls? Come on! What are you doing? What are you doing, Secretary? Come on! Get him off the line! Um, I don't know what a Secretary would really be able to do, actually, about that, uh, about, you know, someone being, uh, on the phone. Um. I guess they could just, like... For some reason, <laughs> sorry. Um, I guess I'm more thinking of like if a you know if a secretary if you were meeting in person. Okay. Now, well now 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 Mayor Johnson uh, or not Johnson Mayor Jalamabad is talking uh, to uh, General Elmo uh, who is over in Violet Nam and and he's saying you know hey about these Straits of Kampala. Um, yeah. Anyway, I guess I was sort of imagining like. Uh, if if Jalamabad had come in person, which of course Jalamabad would would never do, because he's a, a slimy weasel. Also, Raiga was sort of cut off, because oh hey look, I I kind of sort of unconsciously said Jalamabad as like a combination of uh, Johnson and Amabad, but uh, I didn't realize that that it actually did just directly come from here, and I was not just uh, inspired out of the blue. No matter. Um, the point is, if he came in person, which he would never do, because he was cut off one, and uh, two, he's a he's a slimy little weasel, uh, and he does not deserve to be rescued. Um, but should I? Well, can I? Hold on. If he had come in person, I could have, you know, the secretary could have come in and, and been like, uh, you have a meeting coming up, remember? And I could be like, oh, I have that meeting coming up! Sorry, Jalamabad! Time to piss off. I know you you rode through... You rode? Why are you riding? Okay, um, the, the point is, it is strong enough. Oh, no. I did my math wrong. God damn it. Oh, my God. Uh, the point is, the point is I need to get my shit together. Okay, uh, I'm going to press from over here. Uh, fine. And I'll just sort of chain through Mexico City. Okay, great.
Anyway, I could have I could have sent Jalama that out and been like, "Hey, you got that meeting? Sorry, I know you you had to ride through, uh, whatever, whoever was holding his llama bat. I know you had to ride through that territory and it was just absolute hell. And um, and uh, you really should uh, start using uh, cars and, and not just riding on a horse, but uh, piss off. Enjoy riding back through that uh, because." Because I have a meeting, <laughs> and and I'm not gonna change the goddamn name. Well, it's held by Violet Nam. I guess they can call it whatever they want now. Um, they are putting up quite a fight over Mexico City. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, and now that they've abandoned this, though, I'm for sure gonna retake the Straits of Kampala, which shall forever be known as the Straits of Kampala. I don't care what you think about it. Mayor. Oh, God. So this is... This whole morale thing is just not gonna happen, I guess. Oh, wait. Okay. These are... Okay, so these are equal now. Um, this is 115 and 115. However, uh, when armies are equal, the attacking force loses and a 1-1 one -one is left behind. So I can't do that. So I'm gonna grab this, and then we gotta kill him. All right. That has, uh, you know, mostly taken care of that. And then uh, I'm going to... This unit's going to cross in. We're all going to meet up in this area, uh, sort of around Zagreb. Uh, with a classic uh, Franciscan... Fran Franciscan? What were the, 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 the monks who were like the Order of St. Francis? Were they called Franciscans or Franciscans? Who knows? Anyway, we're gonna form a, a whatever that kind of front, um, not in the style of uh, Saint Francis, but in the style of me, Francis. Uh, just so we're clear on that. All right, we're gonna move that in. Great, this front is complete. And now, look at this, Vermont and Cato... Look at all, so many neutral territories. Uh, let's go around. Wow, this was... I, I feel kind of bad for uh, for not doing this on hard, because I, I absolutely should have, could have, and... Uh, yeah, well, I don't know if I could have... Oh yeah, by the way, I just remembered. Uh, a little while ago, you heard a Skype sound. And that's because I got a message on Skype. I think it might be spam. It's hard to... I mean, I can't really tell. It's from someone I know, but it might be, you know, not actually them. Um, so, yeah. That's really strange. Never get stuff on Skype. Maybe I should turn it off. <laughs> uh, look at this. Zero morale. Isn't that pathetic? Oh, General Elmo. What do you know? Wow, the Straits of Campbell are really just... Oh, oh, no. No morale for you. What? Why does he have five morale? What a POS. Oops. Alright, there we go. That that took too long. <laughs> I guess it... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I am so happy. 